Hey guys, so it's me, the Gina137, aka Gian. And before we start my haul for August 29th, um, I also have some news to share you. You guys, I don't know if I um, told you it, whether or not I um, got my dog. Of course, you guys saw a little sneak preview. Sorry for ruining the surprise. But, because I haven't done videos for a long time. But here's my puppy. Say hi to my puppy. I've only had him for 11 days, which is a week and four days. Um, he's uh, 10 weeks yesterday. He's a boy. His name is Riley. Say hi. And he's a Yorkshire Terrier, otherwise known as a Yorkie. He's so cute. Now, he's very funny, especially on walks and stuff like that. So you guys will be seeing plenty of videos on him. Kind of woke him up there. So first, um, I went to with my best friend, Kayla Duvall. Um, her, um, her, uh... YouTube channel is uh, Kayla Duvall Singer, I think. Something with Kayla and Singer. You guys might check check out my other videos because I've talk, mentioned her, but you know. Um, so first, uh, of course, I went to Bellevue for Mall. So of course, I went to Lush. It was the first and last store I went to. But jumping right in, I got from Lush this bath melt called You've Been Mangoed. It says mango right on it. And in the store, it says to drop the whole thing, kind of lather it under the running water, and then kind of like drop, uh, let it run in, then just drop it in the rest and let it melt. But I suggest not, it makes it the bath really silky and really good for your skin. They suggest to use the whole thing, but I don't. I suggest whether to use half if you're kind of really stressed, or just a th stressed, or just a third if it's if you're not too stressed and you just want a relaxing bath, or even a fourth if you just want kind of just a normal bath. <coughs> Next, I have here, I used this today, and my hair does, does not look that soft because I haven't brushed it, um, but it is extremely soft. I am not, like, it's really good. I use this um, a shower, a shampoo bar. Now it is ten ninety five, but you it's um oh and by the way the you've been mangled was I'm pretty sure five ninety five this is ten ninety five and um it might look kind of uh might seem a little expensive but these do usually last for an average of three months and think how much you'd save compared to how many shampoo bottles you would um buy which is like two or three in three months right so um. Yeah, you've been mango is five ninety five, and the this is the Karma Comba, which is ten ninety five. It's very it's very good for your hair, very amazing. Now this is um Woosh a, a shower jelly, which is also five ninety five only, but they also have the bigger size, which is two and a half times more for only um two about two times more because it was ten ninety five. But this is called Woosh. So what you do is you like dip it in the water, get it wet, and then just lather on your skin. Careful, it is extremely slippery. You'll be holding it just like this, think you're getting a good grip, and it'll slip right out. But just, you know, bring it on your skin. Now, you might think, oh, this is not working, there's barely any soap, but it works amazing. My skin is at its best. I'm not joking. My skin has never, ever been better than this. Continuing on, I have... A lip set that I've been dying for. It was been it's been on my lip list. First, I have this sweet lips lip scrub for eight ninety five. Um, if you look here, you see it's literally sugar, and you scrub it on your lips. It's a sugar scrub, and it's edible, so you can either lick it off. It tastes amazing, or wipe it off, and it's extremely good for your lips. And then after that, you put on the lip balm, and I got Whipstick lip balm for six ninety five. Now you might, um, there's, there's lip balms and there's lip tints, which is like colors. I was going to get the double chalk lip tint, but I decided to go with the Whipstick lip balm. So, um, it's literally just, sorry, my hands are kind of slippery from the whoosh shower jelly. But anyways, it's just a lip balm. It's not wanting to open for me. So, um, that is what I got from Lush. Next, I went to Forever 21, and I got, I love what I got from there. First, I got this absolutely gorgeous for $22.80. Um, I know it's kind of expensive, but that's all right, because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a velvety red here, and then a bunch of shimmery gold stuff here with a nice little gem right there. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
And then I also got another tank top from there that is kind of really, you know, casual with like a little bit of, you know, kind of fancy in there because of the rhinestones. But it's absolutely, you know, see, see, it's very cute, like these absolutely gorgeous roses here with rhinestones. And it's got a completely see-through lace back. It's very gorgeous. Now, also from there, I love the jewelry there because some of it's kind of cheap, but most of it's very nice um, for a really nice price. Um, see, these absolutely gorgeous shimmering gold bangles, half just normal gold bangles, half shimmery stuff on it. It's very cute, and it's absolutely adorable with this, don't you think? It's absolutely cute. Okay, next I went to Buckle. Now, I got another pair of jeans, so I got two jeans, but the thing is, the other one's getting hemmed. But these are very cute. They're mine and my mom's because we both, we literally, I, I was trying these on, and then I went to a fitting room and said, how do you like these? And she was trying on the same ones. But they're very cute, retro. Look at this design here, and then the designs in the back pockets. It's slim, uh, it's a slim straight, so it's kind of a cross between a uh, skinny and straight. So next, second to last, because Lush was my first and last store I went to, I went to Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, and by the way, these ones were $136, which is an, a little bit over average for um, Buckle. Most of it's $100. The other ones I got were only $80, which is very cheap for Buckle, and they were very cute. So next, I have from Abercrombie and Fitch, I got this absolutely gorgeous cardigan, but it could also be used as a shirt. It's got this little lace design here, but it still has a panel of, of the um, fabric on the back, so it's not see-through lace. So that's what I got, and so I hope you enjoyed everything here, and I totally recommend to go to Lush as, as much as possible. There's only two in Washington, but they're planning to make more in Washington this summer. Not just in Washington, but all over America and stuff. I learned that in Hawaii when I went to Lush in Hawaii. But I don't want to wake him up, but um, this is Riley again. So again, you guys, he is very hilarious, especially on walks. So you guys will be seeing plenty of videos on him. So um, keep checking in, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.